Hi everyone, today I am bringing you a thrift store clothing haul. I'm in my less than glorious laundry room, but it is early in the morning and I'm going to take the tags off them and get them in a deep clean. I like to do a um, deep soak on any new clothing I bring home and that will help remove any dirt that might, might be in there or any germs, whatever. Okay, first up, I got this vintage Pyrex creamer dish. Now, I do have some dishes that matches, not dishes, but like casserole containers. I forget what the name of this line is, so if you know, you can always let me know in the comments. It might be the daisies or something. Um, and it was $2.99. Now, the thrift store I went to is called Savers. Next up, I got this new in package it's a silverware set and it has a lid that you can flip down over it and I thought this would be good for one of the boys for camping um, my third son will be joining the Boy Scout troop tomorrow so that will have leave us three boys in Boy Scouts so and this was brand new. I paid $1.99, and as you can see, the original price was $13. Next up, all this stuff here was in a grab bag. The reason I got the bag was because it had these cute happy birthday sunglasses. Tomorrow is my son's 11th birthday, so I thought that they would be cute. You know, just a funny gag gift. This grab bag, I paid $1.99. And I also got these Build-A-Bear shoes, which I can give away. And then this adorable lipstick pen. I might send that in with my son to give to his friend who happens to be a girl. And then, you know, this is kind of just like a play set that Mason can play with. And then this little flip phone thing, which is for a baby. I'll put it in a bag. A friend of mine is taking in her grandson. So I have a bag of stuff for her, so I'll put that in there. And then this little pouch, one of the boys can use it. Okay, so next up we're moving on to clothing. Now my three, well my two older boys and my husband all wear the same size. So sometimes thrifting for clothes can be difficult because you only might find two pairs of pants or one pair of pants. So it's trying to get their wardrobe on a limited budget. Now I did pick up some from Target for my oldest like last month or something and I paid almost $30 for a pair of jeans. Now when I thrift for clothes I only look for usually name brand like Under Armour, North Face, something like that, Nike, um, quality clothes that I can get at a great discount. Now when I went yesterday um, I didn't know it, but it was 50% off all clothing. I just happened to be in the area visiting my mother-in-law and figured I would stop in there since I never get down to that area. So I was in luck and I was able to get 50% off all clothing. So first up is this Under Armour black t-shirt. It was originally $4.99, so I paid $2.50 for this. Next up is this Nike mesh tank top. My son plays football, so this will probably come in handy during the summer months when it's really hot. I paid $2.50 for this. Dropping stuff. Okay, next up is a muscle shirt. It is Nike. And I paid $5 for this. But this is a nice... Uh, lightweight fabric so it'll keep them cool next up I got let me try backing this up a little bit so you can see better next up I got a pair of Nike shorts just some gym shorts these were three dollars you can see they have the swoosh down there I got a pair of black Fila shorts these were three dollars Next, we're going to move on to some jeans. Like I said, jeans are hard to find used at a good price. 
So this first pair I paid $5 for. These are Gap Straight Fit. The next pair are uh, Old Navy. And these were $2.50. Now, when I do the deep clean, one of the reasons is, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can kind of see that it's a little bit like yellowed. Now, a lot of times that is the style, but I just want to make sure to get out any dirt that might be lingering in there for somebody from somebody that might not have cleaned them good enough, or they could have been sitting in the closet before being donated. Okay, the next pair are Apartment 9. These were $3.50. Now, when I look for jeans, I do like to make sure that the buttons work okay and that the zipper is functional because you don't want to get home and find out that either of those are broken because I don't want to have to fix it. These were $3.50, I said, I think. Okay, another pair of Apartment 9. And these were $3.50. And this final pair of jeans are a pair of Levi's 527s and I paid five dollars and the last item in my clothing I picked up this dress I haven't tried it on yet I want to wash it but I like to just wear something light in the summer we'll see how it fits because I don't know sometimes I have a hard time finding something that fits good and this one was three dollars so even at $3, even if I had to repurpose it for something or donate it, that's fine. Okay, so next step, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do a deep clean. So here I have hot water. This is only hot water in here. And I added some Oxy and I added my game detergent. Now sometimes I might do some Dawn. It just depends what I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up. You wanna get that Oxy clean dissolved. Now you can do this in your bathtub. I just happen to be doing this downstairs so I can do the video. And like I said, it's super early in the morning and everybody is upstairs sleeping. So I'm just gonna do it in my laundry tub. And then perfect, it's right next to the washer. So now I'm gonna shut that off and I am going to remove the tags from the garments and then I can just go ahead and toss them right in as soon as I take them off. Now, this store I really like for one simple reason. They have the plastic. For some reason, thrift stores use staples. And it is the, the stupidest thing ever. Why would you put staples in clothing? I actually ripped a shirt trying to get a staple out and it's so frustrating because obviously you're trying to save money. So, it's just silly. And the thing is, it's those stores do have the plastic tagging gun because they put it on the more expensive stuff and then something else I forget what it was on. It's been a couple hours now that I've had this soaking. As you can see over there, it's actually not too bad. Just a light tint. So that's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and wash these. And that's it. So thanks so much for watching my haul for today. Okay, guys. So I took the clothes out of the laundry tub. And I just wanted to show you the water. Now, some of this will be dye from the jeans. But I'm trying to get this soap out of the way. But you can see how dirty that is. 
This is why I do a deep clean, because you just never know where the clothes have been before you got them. But I have no doubt they're going to be nice and clean when they come out of my washer. Thanks for watching, everyone.